Hi guys, Yura80 here and um, this is my technically my third cross stitch video um, so it'll be a bit of an update um, I currently, if you haven't watched any of my previous cross stitch videos um, I currently have two works in progress The Bride which um, was on 16 count Ada I haven't picked that up still I, th I can see that being just forgotten about I'm going to desperately try not to do that but that's what I can see it being because obviously I tried the 28 count and loved it and I haven't put that down however for those that do follow my videos as you know I have had a rather busy month in August um, I did get married at the end of August so um, there was lots of, I did a lot of stuff, handmade stuff from my wedding and that obviously had to take priority so I didn't get an awful lot of stitching done in the month of August um, but obviously I did do a little bit so for that sake I will let you know how far I got now I believe on the last video I showed you Okay, here we go with the problem. Um, I believe I was down. Oh, excuse me. Here. So this had all been done, but I was sort of down here. So obviously I've slowly managed to work my way across. So I'll do that. And here's hoping. that you uh, get to see that so yeah I'm on the last bottom bit here and ironically the September stitching tag of um, what's your favourite DMC colour and the 503 well that would be the 503 that I'm working on right now um, this is a lovely project and it's so satisfying because each little not so much this one because it one's quite big but each little dragon feels like and each shape feels like a finish so it's um, yeah it's quite I'd sort of set myself little targets but like I said I haven't done an awful lot of stitching because of other obligations <laughs> this month um, but it will be quite a big piece when it's finished <laughs> Let me go the other way. yeah but also quite color relevant to my house because you use quite toned down colors so yeah not an awful lot uh, as far as a whip stitching update is concerned I'm afraid guys um, but as far as stash and haul a little bit more which was very naughty of me and I've still got some to come because I just can't help myself obviously um, I did say that I didn't want to get any more charts yeah I fibbed about that but not so much because actually I haven't recently ordered any more charts but when I said that from my last video these were already on their way so does that count that I'm not does that count that I kind of already had the charts because I bought them and they were being sent I don't know you decide but yeah so I did get some charts so if you hold on these were already on order from the last video but I am going to try and stop now because otherwise I just won't get them done so this one is the Rosewood Manor the China Blue Sampler now anyone that knows me knows that I'm a massive coffee fiend massive I do like tea I'm not a big fan of fruit teas I've got to be honest but I like herbal teas chamomile and jasmine I like those I'm not a big fan of hot fruit 
I like fresh fruit to eat, not to drink. But yeah, so, but coffee, coffee is my vice. So when I look at one, two, three, Stitch, Amazon, and I look at my wish list, pretty much a lot of the designs on there are all coffee orientated. <laughs> Mm, issues coffee and cake I have cake issues too but yeah so I liked this and this is all done I don't have them but this is all done in Weeks Dye Works it's only two colours and one DMC but yeah so um, I will get that done because that and again it is sampler style, so that will suit my house. See, it should be wrong not to do it, won't it? So yeah, that's the Rosewood Manor. Then I got a. Um, this is just really cute. Um, cricket collection. The cross-eyed cricket sit for a spell. Now, in the UK, we do have. We do have Halloween things, but not really. We don't we don't do it like you do in America. So but I do like Halloween y stuff. Um we don't go haul the whole hog and really decorate up the house or anything like that. There's just a few token gestures. So I thought maybe something small like this that I'd probably turn into a cushion. Or something might just be cute to get out every now and again um, so yeah so I've actually got the fabric for this as well so that was um, which was a well, it's not the recommended fabric sorry that was someone walking past <laughs> um, it's not the recommended fabric but it to me it would seem appropriate so it's uh, 32 count hand dyed even weave is what the label says so you can't really see that at all can you but yeah that's like a mint green so yeah I've got the fabric I just need to get this has got some speciality threads in it though um, thread gatherer so I just need to get those and the rest of DMC's I want to I would want to get them not because I'm necessarily a stickler for sticking to the patterns but more because I feel that then that's an excuse to dry different threads um, so that's why I would do that um, because then you get to try it and you get to try all different things and that interests me so but yeah whenever I get a piece of fabric although this has actually got a sticker that's relatively stayed on it um, I always mark it in Roman numerals because sometimes the stickers fall off I could put it in those little plastic wrap things but I do keep it in its own box with all the other fabric so yeah what I tend to do is just mark particularly more for the bigger pieces I actually mark the count on there because that's the most important thing really so that at a quick glance I can tell obviously that's three lots of ten and two so it's 32 count um, and I do that with all of the others it just makes it easier for me um, at a quick glance to do that and then the, the sort of last lot really was the Just Nans that I referred to in the stitching tag um, so this is Celeste and she's got some speciality stitches I'm oh, sorry patterns on the back um, Gabriella they all have speciality stitches in them and obviously I haven't done any speciality stitches yet. And Angelique. Uh, 
and like I said with I haven't bought that just land stocking but what you can actually do is the pattern for the just land stocking and it's already got an angel in the inside of it but so from what they were saying is that if you order the just if you have the just land angels you could swap them out so I thought that would be quite nice because when my daughter although she's older and she was 13 when my daughter see what I was thinking of possibly doing for Sophie she was like oh I love that I'd like one can you do me this one so yeah I'll possibly be doing more than one stocking but I'd like to say I'd get that done this year but they're coming over in November from Bermuda I don't think I'm going to get it done by the November to be honest I'd really like to get the dragon Quaker sampler done before Christmas preferably um, so that because obviously for me the Mirabilia sale that's a biggie for me so I'd like to I did in an ideal world I'd like to get the bride done my dragon sampler done and have a couple of little projects in between but I think that's been a bit unrealistic on myself so sort of doing the bare minimum and um, feeling like I've achieved that I'm thinking please get the sampler done the dragon sampler done before Christmas and then that way I feel like I can start afresh on the Mirabilia sale I have actually signed up to uh, the Country Cottage uh, Needleworks ornaments, classic ornaments and they send one a month that's already started in the USA obviously we, don't, uh, we haven't received them over here yet um, so I've signed up for that um, through the Patchwork Rabbit which was a company that Miss Milky Bar Kid had also suggested um, and they I found the Patchwork Rabbit really really helpful so I do recommend if you're from the UK even if you're not just check them out because there might be some um, things on there that you can't necessarily get in the US but um, but yeah the Patchwork Rabbit their customer service was really cool and uh, very friendly and um, so yeah I would I would recommend to them and so I signed it up through them and I also I like the Country Cottage Needleworks I won't keep banging on about it but it, it I'm not going to not use those patterns they they're Christmas so even if I make them and give them away or I could make them they'd suit my house I mean there's there's so many options I can do with these patterns so for me even if I don't get them stitched every month um, it's not it's not a problem I tend to possibly not want to go for the mystery samplers so in that sense it's a little bit odd that I would do something like this but I thought because they're like little individual projects they're Christmas I have so many friends and family that would love things like that, that it would suit their homes too, as well as my own. For me, it was a bit like I can't go wrong. And it appealed to me because I'm not 100% sure, but I think they use and can use all different fabrics because I've signed up to get the whole lot, the buttons, the fabrics and the threads. So that, in a way, forces me to try and use other fabrics and material it gives me and they're little so it gives me a go I'll get to know what I like and what I don't like um, also with the threads I know that there's some speciality threads that they use as well as the DMC's and I've signed up for those which kind of gives me a bit of an opening and a way of trying new threads and things like that so yeah for me it's a bit of a win-win you know so rather than try and kit up big projects all the time and buying lots of different charts with all different projects, I thought, oh, these are like little ones. I've signed up to get the whole bundle sent to me. And I thought, as much as I actually love doing my Dragon Sampler, I can't say that I sit there and think, oh, because I don't, I do, I do enjoy it. Um, I thought, actually, when they do arrive, it would be a nice break to get them, to, to get them stitched and done. And then that way, I think it's quite nice because it's, it can it gives you the option of having a break, but it's only a little piece. So yes, that's the Country Cottage uh, Classic Ornaments. With I'll try and put the link underneath. Like I said, I'm not computer literate, so don't bet me on it. But um, that would be I bought them through the Patchwork Rabbit. .co.uk and they you can sign up and they can you can pick which options 
uh, you don't have to have the, their threads you can do that yourself if you just want to use DMCs you don't have to you can literally you just tick the boxes do you want them to send you the whole thing or just the fabric or just the pattern or fabric and threads and, and blah 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 so um, you can get them to do that so I'm quite looking forward to that and in a way that might stop me spending unrealistic I know but it might stop me spending because then I feel like I've got a little something every month <laughs> oh god <laughs> still the Mirabilia sale so as you know I'm doing Ada Garden Fairy as a recap this is what she looks like I would like to do her on a greeny background we'd already had that discussion she has actually got an awful lot of I know Mirabilia do or appear to but she's got a lot of beads and Krennic and Crystal Treasures Mill Hill tre Crystal Treasures she's actually quite expensive to kit up so I'm doing it slowly I've actually got some stuff on the way so but I'll go through what I've got I've only got the beads so far the glass seed beads I think they're size 11 sorry all the rustling and some of them are doubled so I've got 00148 these are like a very light tangerine colour They look in more yellow on the screen, but they're actually a very light tangerine -y colour. So I've got those. I've got two packs of those. Then there's this um, 02011. These are nice, these are like antique gold. So these are almost like an amber, they look. So they're quite nice. I'll go ahead to get two packs of those. Then there's like a iridescent, very light blue. Reminds me a little bit, they look white on there, but they have got a blue more of a bluey tinge. They look a bit like an icicle. So they're quite cute. One pack of those. Sorry, did I say that the, the light icicle blue ones are 02017? And then you've got 02010, and these these are like a silvery toned. See, so they look white, but they've got a silver, definite silver tone to them. And last but not least is. 00146 and these are like a cornflower blue is the way I'd describe those but yeah I can't really see so yeah excuse me while I just rattle while I put more back but so they were they were just for that project um all of them so yeah, I've got the Krennic on order. Um, that should be arriving soon. I have replaced one of the Krennics as recommended by a list that I got from a Rainbow Gallery themselves conversion. Um, I've replaced one of the Krennics. I think it's the Periwinkle Krennic. And I've replaced it, I believe, with the Petite Treasure Braid number 27. Um, and I've ordered the Petite Treasure Braid from from another company. So, yeah, uh, so I have done a slight conversion. The other Krennix, one was a blending filament, and the other Krennix, um, they, I couldn't see a conversion, and because I'm not used to, I understand the eyeballing principle, but because I don't have the stash to do that, obviously I don't 
necessarily want to be ordering stuff they're not cheap so I don't want to be ordering stuff and then think oh I've got that wrong so I just what I knew was a definite conversion I ordered which on, on this case for that pattern was just one um, and everything else I just kept it as Krennic and then eventually obviously but having a look at some of the other charts that eventually I will kit up there are other conversions so I'll do it with for those instead okay and then then thank you to Miss Milky Bar Kid Amanda her videos are awesome please go check them out um, I'll try and put the link below and I'm not particularly good with things like that but I will try check them out they're really really good um, very informative um, but when you actually do go and, and check out what she's been talking about and what she's been seeing they, they're not good for your pocketbook because <laughs> you're like I want some of that so I did um, it was the Jodry designs and I did something that I thought I wouldn't do which is order things even though they don't have a particular purpose so I ordered some silks they were from the Jodry Designs Antique Silk range and there's six in the range at the moment, six colours and they're hand dyed silks and even though I didn't have a purpose for them I just wanted to see so I ordered them and they're lovely so I'm sure you may have seen these already before but if you haven't please indulge me while I coo over these silks but yeah so this is a hand dyed Jodry Designs 001 under the antique range of Gooseberry Bush and it really is a lovely green I can't express how lovely the variegations are it's like a light very light green going into more of a bright green and it's gooseberry bush and it does, it reminds you of gooseberries the next one is lavender sachet that's Jodry Designs hand dyed silk 002 the antique lavender sachet that's really pretty quite strong purples the lighting is awful in here I do apologise the next one's my absolute personal favourite because it does, I think she's nailed it with the name this is what it reminds me of um, it's the Jodry Designs Hand Dyed Silk 003 Antique Tea Rose and that is stunning it's pinks, baby pinks going into green and it does, it looks like a bud a rose bud it's lovely and I really adore this colour and now I'm just looking for patterns to use it because it's my favourite by far then there's the copper kettle see I like this colour but these are colours that I'm more likely to wear <laughs> uh, it's 004 a for the antique copper kettle and but it's like greys and browns and oranges it's very lovely best thing to do is actually go on her website because she's got far better pictures Uh, the next one 
is 005 Bramble Jelly. It's another purple, but I love the. It's like a blue grey. It's lovely. The purple going into the blue grey. That's really nice. And that's called Bramble Jelly. And then the last one is 006i and it's the China set. And that's beautiful blues and greens. That's really nice too. So yeah, I could get excited about these threads a lot. But I thought, well, you know, Jodry Designs have got so many lovely threads, really have got some lovely, and they've got them um, cotton threads that are based on the um, Seven Deadly Sins, and oh, there's some really lovely ones. But you know, I thought, no, I'm going to stick with the silks, and I'm just going to get the antique silks. But I am, as a rule, going to find a pattern that I want to use them for. I'm thinking possibly maybe an AAN, the Alessandra Adelaide patterns. I think that they'd be quite good. Obviously the pattern would be bigger. So what I do, learning from you guys on Floss Tube, is that I would order the number that I would need. So if it says, oh, the, the AAN says you need, I don't know, five skeins of this red or whatever, then I would order five skeins of one of the silks because I know that they need to be dyed in dye lots that type of thing so obviously I'd want them to be the same even though they variegate I don't know really how that how that would work and whether you'd notice but just for safety's sake do that so yeah I then because I'm just naughty ordered some more fabric from Jodry Designs this it's very hard to tell it doesn't really do it justice because it is quite muted but it's greens and browns and i don't know whether that's actually going to come up so much on the screen this is actually 32 count murano it's zen garden it's lovely it's lovely and muted and i must admit I'm half tempted to possibly do the Mirabilia Sal on this because I am concerned that if I use an opalescent fabric, which I plan to use for the Mirabilia, that because this one appears to have so much sparkle added to it, it's going to detract from the sparkle of the actual fairy and the beads that I've put on it so maybe I'll be better off with a muted fabric so that all the Krennic and the Petite Treasure Braid that I'll choose to use and all the beads and the treasures will really show we will see I'm looking at the time going oh look at the time of the video <laughs> so I will speed along I am sorry for dawdling and then I ordered, which is, this is beautiful, uh, this is the limited edition for September, so you haven't got long guys, um, if you want it, it's the Fall Trees it's called, this is 28 count Opal Brittany, and it is so pretty, it is definitely more of a salmon pink orange, than possibly what's coming up on the screen. But yeah, that without question, I would have no problem using that because that could, I think the opal is just very ornament, whether it be Christmas ornament or whatever on it. But that's really nice too. Oh, it's just so difficult. And she does actually just finish like a slip stitch style finish oh, sorry, on her fabric as well which is always handy because it just stops the fraying it's just that little attention to detail that for me is good customer service so 
yeah, I'd definitely recommend Jodhry Designs. Certainly the antique silks. She has got a uh, regular silk, hand dyed silks. Um, range that's not long been out and there's a few of those but I thought I'd stick with the antiques because based on the principle that I'm thinking she may be although the colours are lovely they might be a slight mutedness about them then they're more than likely the sort of colours as you can tell from my samplers and the sort of choices that I make that I'm more than likely going to use more of so oh. but how exciting all these new things and um, my pocketbook is crying I would like I'm waiting to hear on a new job boo hoo but I am waiting to hear on a new job but obviously this job would allow me more stash money <laughs> obviously as well as providing more for my family <laughs> no. um, would would allow me a bit more freedom if that's the case then I will treat myself out of our wedding money which I'm allowed to because my, my husband's treated himself now quite significantly no um, we've got we was very blessed and uh, we was because we already had a house um, the gifts that we were given um, and the vouchers and things like that we got to choose things that we would never normally indulge in um, but we did it a little bit old school and we've picked a really nice dinner set so, you know the sort of thing that we'll get out every Christmas and special occasion um, not for everyday use um, just because then you just sit there and for me it is the sort of thing because I'm a bit sad like that that I'd get out and I'd think to myself oh we got that with our wedding money because <laughs> that's the sort of individual I am um, but yeah so we did buy that and then obviously we've got a little bit left over so we bought a couple of luxuries and I've still got a little bit left but if I get this job that's coming up that I've interviewed for then as a treat to myself for not only getting this job this new job and also getting married and using some of my leftover wedding money I may treat myself to a Lowry stand because I really really want one but I just can't quite justify it yet I'm a little bit of a stickler like that a bit sad um, so but I'm thinking you know with my leftover wedding money and if I get this job, that's like double reason. Why not spend it on myself? <laughs> but still. So anyway, I must stop spending on stash. But I think I will now, actually. Like I said, especially with the um, that classic ornaments that I've signed up for. I think that will feed my little stash demon bug at least once a month. And especially with Christmas coming, because to be honest, <laughs> I haven't even started my Christmas shopping. So, and I need to be thinking about that soon. But anyway, stop going on. Um, thank you so much to anyone that's actually made it to the end of this long video. Mm. Um, I will obviously keep you informed with uh, my next regular updates. Um, thank you for all those that are subscribed. You're all fabulous. I do try and like or comment or along the but I'm not computer literate so bear with me I do try um, but yeah I mean you're all amazing please keep posting videos if you haven't got the confidence yet and you haven't posted videos you don't have to necessarily look at your face um, well, I'm quite happy it's uh, ultimately it's about the cross stitch it's about the work and I just love getting involved and keeping updated and stuff like that I am going to actually sign up to Instagram once I build up enough courage it's kind of like being on Facebook for me. That took me, I was well behind on that one. Um, so yeah, I will sign up to Instagram because I do, I just like seeing the little updates. It's, it's like it, the project that you're working on, it grows with you and the choices that you make. And it's, yeah, I really like that. I like sharing in that. So uh, yeah, I will be catching up with you in October, although we're nearly there, but I will be catching up with you in October, so there won't be probably that much, so hopefully the video won't be that long. Um, and with any stash updates or anything else that I've got in between time. But happy stitching everyone, and I uh, will hopefully speak to you soon. Bye bye.